All right, welcome to the podcast. Let's do podcast inside the store. Culture talk. Tai Neo Abdullahi. So many names. Yes, boss. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you very much. It's good to have you. It's been a while. Yeah, it is. That's it. You have been in and out and around the world. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not really around the world. Just yeah. w- just within the Arewa contest. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Tai is uh, is the CEO of Beautiful Arewa, one of the biggest blog in northern nigeria in the history of ariwa entertainment and stuff you have done like a lot especially with the blogging that we know of yeah but that is what most people know you for but then you have done so many things before that you have you are like the bridge of like practicing entertainers and then the audience blogging you're a sound engineer as well <laughs> then you're, you're a marketer you're you're doing a lot of things you're a programmer so many things you've yeah. been doing how do you manage to keep all this pl- all this so many things that you do in in line and then you still keep your, <laughs> <laughs> oh, your um, <coughs> to be honest with you it's not been easy you understand Can never like be. there's this saying jack of all master of none mm. Yeah, but then I try to be a little bit jack of all and master of few. Mm. You understand? Are you really master of few? <laughs> you are master most of most. <laughs> of most, yeah. I would say of most. Yeah. Because most of the things I do, I, only, I always have a time frame for what I do. Mm. You understand? Like, if I have a lot of projects of different of the different category of jobs that I do, yeah. like, I would say, okay, I'll do this from now to then, mm. then this from this to this, you understand? Yeah. So I try not to overstress myself. Mm. So because one thing I got to understand in life is if you stress yourself, you kill yourself. Mm. The money you find another person I go to chop up. True. Understand? So just do the little you can, and then just chill. Let's so, um, blogging, promotions, sound engineer. Um, I'm also a photographer, although I'm still learning. But I know how to handle the f- camera very well. Oh, that's you understand? Nice. So I just do basic things. Anything that actually will just bring. Guap, guap. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the sound of that. Yeah. Um. So, you're one of the first guys that like have like a blog, and then really help with your platform to push like our entertainment, especially here in Beehive. What has been like uh, the major challenge that you face in doing that? Because obviously you've moved like a great magnitude from the time you started to right now, and then. What are the things that you feel have actually improved from back then to like present time? Well, to be honest with you, um, yeah, we've had challenges. Um, unofficially, yeah. I've been blogging for the past close to nine years now. Wow. Unofficially, like I, I just, you know, there's a way you just unpublish a blog or whatever. But if I will publish then you will see now all those old stuff, you understand. Yeah. But officially, I started Beautiful Ariwa five years ago. It's going to be five years in on September 3rd. Mm. Yes, Beautiful Ariwa is going to be five years. And then five years ago, I in my house generally, we like music. Mm. Like if you go to my house, almost at the corner of everywhere, there's speaker. Wow. Now, so my papa like music, Rich. Wow. You understand? And then I grew up liking music. And then I knew I didn't have the voice to sing. Mm-hmm. You understand, mm-hmm. but my sisters them now then the choir. You mm-hmm. understand, and the choir they sing. Whatever. So I know I didn't have this voice to sing, but then I thought of how will I make myself relevant in the entertainment industry mm-hmm. for artists. You understand? Okay, since I can't sing, why don't I help in promoting? Because um, growing up, um, I tried to make sure that I followed the trend of uh, the ICT digital mm-hmm. world and all of these stuffs. Yeah. So. I wasn't lacking behind, you mm-hmm. so I knew what was necessary and what was needed in the aspect of um, actual promotions. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Like, I just found out that an artist doesn't really, doesn't really need 100k, 201 million to promote his songs. Mm. You understand? What it just needs is just have a good song, have a good graphic design. That's where some artists on your art cover. You understand? Mm. And then just a small cash, and then we just help to push um, your music. So the journey started very funny because then there was no 
like now guys now you understand mm, you guys, have guys. to keep working for free mm. but these guys will not understand that oh you pay for data mm. you pay for hosting you pay for domain mm. you understand all of this is the yeah. cost and sometimes when there is no lights you have to buy fuel for generator just to make sure that okay because that is you see some artists just call you mm. around 10 and say guy how far my song they come by 12 o'clock or one o'clock mm. Yes. You understand? So, so all of those yes. things but growing up i i've tried to make sure that look guy if you don't send me your song at least 24 hours before that time it don't go possible mm. you understand? because one thing about um blogging and promotion is your blogger or whoever is going to b- promote your song needs to have heard your songs because song, yeah. he's supposed to write um a little demo like just um an article about the song, about the song. from what you He's understand, you understand? Yeah. naturally it's not okay for an artist to be the one to tell you okay this is this and this is what song mm-hmm. about yeah. the blogger is supposed to listen to the song and then just write something and then okay. because yeah. to make help with the promotions yeah yes, and so all of those things but with time we've tried to work it out and then couple the fact that we know there's no cash mm. and then we all know our northern not our northern artists our upcoming artists mm. Most of them are not ready to sacrifice. Mm. You understand? They just want to blow today, like because you sing one song and then you want it to reach, like yeah, blow. Yeah. So they feel as if, uh, okay, they are spending too much for promotions, they are doing this and nothing is coming. Mm. But then there's something about it. There's what we call the startup gratification. Mm. Like, just take it slow. Yeah. What I keep telling people is, it's just one day and one person. That's all you need. Mm. You understand? Mm. Just keep releasing your songs. Spend. You understand? Just do them. But somebody, one day, somebody will just be listening, going through maybe a Google or your site or whatever, and then just listen to this one. He likes the song. Before you know, you don't get your investment deal. Yeah. You understand? So, and then I thank God for where I am now. Um, I now started promotions. Mm. You understand? Like two years ago, like because I just understood that there's a difference between blogging and promotion. No. You understand? Now a promo a promoter a promoter is actually going to push your content to the right track to the right people. Okay. You understand? Because a blogger will always post mostly on his blog and his social media account mm. and probably WhatsApp status. Thank God for WhatsApp status now. Mm. And that's all. But then a promoter knows, okay. The truth is, Lendo, if you bring ten artists today now, mm. Mm, that they will send an MP3 to random people on their contact. Mm. Let me say an MP3 of a preaching like rccg pastor that you are blessing the money uh, you will see one of those contacts will tell you a nice song mm. because your contact uh, they don't care about your music that's the truth most of them don't care about your music mm. they just feel you're disturbing them with those stuff you understand mm. so they would not want to download it to listen to it they'll just tell you ah nice song mm. when it is not actually a song yeah you understand so we try to bring it to to make it look even if you don't you don't need to have 100 percent fan base from your side mm okay there's one one thing about promotion a blogger has his own fans there are people who visit a guy's blog just because ah uh, now you now you understand yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, josh you understand what's going on yeah. there are people who come because ah your song did the blog mm. you now when they come because your song is on the blog and they see another person's song and they like it mm. you understand mm. good but then some of these artists they actually want to aim high instead of them to start very low mm. what i mean by that an artist want to go and put a song on ninja loaded or two exclusive or whatever yeah but then someone who is big enough will not go to two exclusive and download a song of an artist he has never seen or heard mm. that's the way it is and those guys will actually charge you high amount of money and you feel ah you're paying 100k you're paying 200k this guy ah, is a good platform oh, but it is good. not yeah. you understand sometimes the local guys you have around mm. they actually do more promotions than those ones that you don't see and then we understand the contest uh we are all in bauchi all of stuff Ariwa. we actually don't appreciate what we have here Mm. You understand because we don't see ourselves finish. Uh, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so like that, like that, sure. So, uh, if I'm like an, an artist, just I feel like I have a good voice, or I can rap, and then one or two people are actually listening to my song in my hood, and they actually feel it. I actually want to promote my song on the right track. What would you advise me to do? Well.